Why but, Athens? Well, Davis lived there, and of course I had been playing there off and on for years at fraternity houses, and and Athens had uh, the beginnings of um, a music scene at that time. This was 1970, really, and um, you know there were some clubs to play at there, and um, it was close to Atlanta, and <clears throat> you know there was a scene developing in Atlanta and Athens and Macon. And so that was the reason I stayed down there. There, were, there was work, there were studios. I started, uh, mo um, um, actually moved to Macon for a while and became kind of a, a studio. I joined this group called Cowboy and I also became the studio, one of the studio horn players for all their different groups they had going on at the time, Elvin Bishop and Greg and all these people. And so I was kind of sort of the leader of the section there and um, that developed into working with Greg on his first two solo tours, joining Sea Level at some point, so it developed into another, you know, expanded a lot from going to Macon. But it was a crossroads there where I could have gone up to Boston and, uh, you know, my life would have been very different, but uh, just by chance, I guess. Uh, not because one of the reasons I was going to the Divinity School was so I didn't have to go to Vietnam, you know, because you could get out that way too. <laughs> So I was planning, I had some contingency plans, but um, I, it just, uh, I just developed a love for songwriting and uh, recording. Uh, and because we had popped into a couple of little studios and found out how much fun it was to hear a song being developed and uh, you know, hear it back and think, wow, that's pretty cool. So I started recording over in Atlanta. Uh, I met Buddy Bowie and J.R. Cobb and some of those people at the Atlanta Rhythm Section studio, and they wanted, they liked what I was doing, so they let us do a bunch of demos, and that's how we got started. I think it was on that first series of demos that um, we had a group called Broken Home, and it was Davis and I and Bob Jones, and we had actually written some things that a few of them I still, I have just recorded a new record, and I cut a couple of these songs from that original demo. They're, they still hold up, so yeah, I think. I wasn't sure I could, I was really good enough to be a, a real songwriter, but I knew I loved doing this.